What is design thinking and where did you learn it? Whew. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I know what design thinking is, but uh, I know what popular culture is starting to refer to it as. Um, I suppose it's using the power of design uh, to solve large scale thoughtful problems. Um, my, my problem with that approach is that it implies that you can do design thinking without doing design doing that as if they're somehow two separate things. Um, you can't, they are the same thing. Uh, and a designerly approach is always one that involves thinking and doing. Um, so presently that's, uh, it's in vogue to describe uh, a design thinking approach to problem solving. Um, and you can credit um, you know, Bruce Nussbaum's uh, use of the word in, in Business Week or any of the, the D school folks uh, over at Stanford um, as, as hyping design thinking and, and uh, props to them because now it is common vernacular in uh, the language of business owners, this design thinking stuff. Um, my, my problem is that uh, I learned design thinking when I was a freshman at Carnegie Mellon. Uh, my first class was called design thinking. Um, and so it, it's not necessarily anything new uh, and it's just a small piece of the larger puzzle. Um, there's a real, there's a real uh, potential for problem in teaching design thinking in an MBA uh, curricula, one or two classes, and, and, and saying, okay, you are now ready to do design. And, and, and I've seen that fall apart miserably um, because one isn't ready to do design with, with simply one or two classes in um, the way that design could be applies, applied to large-scale organizational change or to, to large-scale cultural change. Um, you really do need to ha have skills in making a thing uh, whether it's a physical thing, a digital thing, or a systematic service-oriented thing, um, just thinking about it isn't going to get you any sort of impact. Um, and so the, the larger discourse that occurs around design thinking needs to take into account design doing as well. I think there's a fear amongst uh, a lot of design practitioners that a focus on design doing uh, tends toward commodification. Uh, it can be commoditized uh, and then offshored, and then um, we'll, never, we'll never hear from it again. Um, that may or may not prove to be true. I feel pretty strongly it can't be. Um, although we're starting to see uh, a great deal of Chinese and Indian designers, uh, that's awesome. They're gonna solve Chinese and Indian design problems, and they're gonna do it uh, with the rich context of China and India. Um, the problems in the United States and Mexico and Canada, respectively, have United States, Mexican, and Canadian context and culture to deal with. And because design uh, is so fundamentally and inextricably connected with culture, uh, I, don't, I don't think you can offshore that. Um, uh, put another way, I think one needs to immerse themselves in the culture of the problem that they're solving.